This is the first part of a video series about the design and building process of my plywood canoe. Hello and welcome to my video about a wooden canoe that I designed and made myself. I wanted to make this canoe from wood and I found basically four ways to do so. The first one is the cedar stripe canoe where you have wooden frames which are being uh, covered by thin cedar stripes until the hull is completely closed. The second way is the so-called skin and frames technique where you have a wooden skeleton which is being covered by some fabric. The third way that I found is uh, the, I hope I pronounce it correctly, the gore wood canoe where you have two sheets of plywood that are being connected and then bend and bend and bend until the whole uh, middle area is round and the edges are being glued. The fourth way that I found is the so-called plywood canoe uh, which basically consists of planks of plywood or yeah, pieces of plywood that are being connected via the stitch and glue technique. I chose for a plywood design because I guess it's the fastest way to build a canoe and also it looks quite robust to me. And here is how I started with my canoe project. I wanted to make a canoe that we can put onto the roof rack of our car. The total length of our car is 4.15 meters. In Germany we are allowed to have an additional length of 1 meter without putting this nasty red fleck to the end of it. So we have a total length of 5.15 meters. I started searching in the internet for a canoe that is shorter than this but can carry 4 persons or more. I was lucky to find a canoe with 4 benches and a total length of 4.9 meters. Also there were pictures from above and from the side so I could take all needed measurements. Then I started making my CAD model. The hull of the canoe is symmetric. It has got two symmetry planes, one here and one here. So I made just one quarter of it, so I didn't make this, and mirrored it afterwards to get the full shape of the canoe. Thin sheets of plywood can easily be bent around one axis, like this. And even though I know that there are people who were able to make it, it's very hard to bend it around two axes, like this for example. I found two ways to make a CAD model that has got wood or surfaces that are only bent in one dimension. The first one is a straight line that is being extruded along a bent line, or a curved line. The sheet now then looks like this. The second solution is a curved line that is being extruded or sweeped along a straight line. The whole sheet then looks more or less like this. Both ways have in common that there is one direction from which the 3D object just looks like a 2D object. Both ways are basically the same but change the design order in the CAD system. To get the shape that I liked I figured out that the three planks along the sides should be enough. Then I transferred all taken measurements from the pictures to my CAD model that I made in Rhino and made some splines along the side. Then starting from the center I made some sketches that I swept along the sides to make the planks and the bottom plate. Only at the very ends of the bow there were gaps of a few millimeters with this method. So I cut the planks near the ends, kept the inner area and used the hole filling function for the outer area, knowing that the wood now is bent in two dimensions. In order to make 2D drafts for all parts, I used a function called unroll surface UV. And here are the total dimensions of the final shape. I then arranged all single parts so they fit to four DIN A0 sheets. And here is a small overview of what you need to make this project. To get a better feeling of the shape, and also because I did not trust the unfold function of the CAD system completely, I made a paper model that has got a total length of about 1.2 meters. But mostly this small canoe was used to carry stuffed animals. All pieces went together very well and there were no major gaps, 
so I ordered the four sheets of drafts from an online print shop. The parts then were cut out with scissors so I could transfer the contour to the ply. I tried to go a rather environmentally friendly way and took sheets of pine wood, which became a regional product in Germany. Especially in the 18th and 19th century, a large deforestation took place in Central Europe. At that time, wood was a very important natural resource. In order to meet this demand, a large afforestation was decided where more than 60% of the trees were pines. Uh, Jake, I thought this video was about building a canoe and not a history lesson. And besides, there's no footage left. Oh, uh, thanks, honey. This plywood is water boil proof, which means that even if water can pass the coating, the single layers of wood will not peel off. And here's how I arranged all parts of the boat. So they fit to three sheets of 125 by 250 centimeter plywood. Only the inner frames, which were used to hold the planks while building, did not fit to the sheets, so they were made out of MDF. In order to cut out the single pieces, I put the sheets on a table and copied the contour of the paper templates with a pencil. At this point, it is very important to add the areas for the scarf joints to one joining partner so they can overlap. After that, I cut out the parts with the jigsaw and left an offset of about 3 mm to avoid splintered areas. This offset was then sanded down with an eccentric grinder, which was super exhausting. Once the part was done, I could copy its contour directly with a pencil and cut it out with a jigsaw again. As more or less all parts exist two or four times, I only sanded one of each to the exact contour and taped it on top of the others. I then used a router that I put under a table and a contour copy bit to copy the contour to the other parts. Each plank consists of three parts which are being connected with scarf joints. I made all cuts with my scarf joint jig I made a separate video about. Just click here or in the link in the video description. To know exactly how long the beveled areas are and where they start, I made some test cuts first and extended the parts as needed. And here are all parts of the hull. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.